just got humor. She's the giggle at a funeral. She was born in 1637 and died in the early 18th century. Her life was sad because she was kidnapped by Native Americans. She's the last true mother. Her children died in her lifetime while she was alive. Every Sunday's getting more bleak. A fresh poison each week. We were born sick. She only wrote one novel, although it was a bestseller. My church offers no absolute. The Silver Angel and Goodness of God was written in 1682 and detailed Mary Rowlandson's experience of being a captive to Native Americans. Her daughter Sarah died from wounds after they were captured. She was definitely a Puritan at heart, her Bible being the only thing to give her hope. Take me to church, I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. Tell you my sins and you can shop in your knife Offer me that deathless death A good God, let me give you my life Take me to church, I'll worship like a dog At the shrine of your lies I'll tell you my sins and you can shop in your knife Offer me that deathless death A good God, let me give you my life If I'm a pain of the good times my lover is a son To keep the goddess on my side She demands a sacrifice Drain the whole sea And they lived happily ever after Without Sarah, because she died that's a fine looking high horse. The biggest Why thing that makes her Puritan author is her blatant obsession with God. As you can see from the quotations we have included, she talks about God like this is hungry every single Take sentence of the book. Church, All of the like notable quotes include God. It's I'll tell you kind of crazy, you can but you know that's that's Puritan for me. That deathless death, the good God, I would give you my life. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. And I'll tell 